Okay, let's have um, scene one. So we've got uh, narrator, chief priests, elders. Um, you guys will have the rope. Jesus? No, no, you're off to this yeah, yeah. side. Yep. Where's Jesus? Um, sort of front centre. Okay, and action. When daybreak came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death. After tying him up, they led him away and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Now Jesus oh, stood second. before you, the governor. Yep, you need to be before him. So just put him at like the governor's feet or like right before him. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, and then you guys can walk off. Yep, perfect. That's end of scene one. Okay, um, when that scene finishes and these guys have walked off, you can just stand up. Um, so you don't have to kind of like act at this point. You literally, so Matt, just stand up. You're going to walk forward to here. You're going to sit down here. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, and remembering where we need to be for the next scene. So chief priests up you come, soldier up you come, Barabbas. Yep, fantastic. Okay, and Pilate starts with this one. Are you the king of the Jews? The governor asked him. Jesus answered, What's my one? Yes. You, you have, have said, said it. Have said it. Yes, you have said it. And while he was being accused by the chief priests and the elders, he didn't answer. Then Pilate said to him, Don't you, Didn't you hear how much they, tes they are testifying against you? But he didn't answer him on even one charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. At the festival, the governor's custom was to release to the crowd a prisoner they wanted. At that time, they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered together, Pilate said to them, Who is it that you want me to release, Barabbas or Jesus the Messiah? For he knew they had handed him over because of envy. While he was sitting on the judge's bench, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with the righteous man, for today I have suffered terribly in a dream because of him. The chief priests and the elders, however, persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas and to execute Jesus. The governor asked them, Which of these two do you want me to execute or release? Barabbas! They answered. Pilate asked them, What shall I do then with Jesus, who is called Messiah? They all answered, Crucify him! Then he said, Why? What has he done wrong? But they kept shouting, Crucify him! All the more. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that a riot was starting instead, he took some water, washed his hands in front of the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourself. All the people answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. Um, so or should I wait till... Yeah. Wait. Um, uh, Tyson's going to signal to the guards, release Barabbas, and we're going to take, so um, we'll take him off. And so we'll take, yep. Then he released Barabbas to them, but after having Jesus flogged, he handed him over to be crucified. Who is Jesus handed over to? Like, what's the movement there? I did ask, but we don't actually know. So, um, soldier, actually, you guys, yeah. you stay on at that point, don't you? Well, I'll take Barabbas off. Well, I mean, he's here. Um, and then do you have two soldiers? Yeah. Yes. One soldier can take off and then the other yes. can stay there. That's right. Okay, and now you need to move to front and centre. Oh, my. I'll sit on my hand now. Yeah. Pass <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Scene three. Red brick wall up the back, um, and ready to go. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into headquarters and gathered the whole company around him. They stripped him and dressed him in a scarlet military robe. They twisted together a crown of thorns, put it on his head, and placed a reed in his right hand. And they knelt down before him and mocked him. Oh, hail the king of the Jews! Then they spit on him, took the reed, and kept hitting him on the head. When they had mocked him, 
They stripped him of the robe, put his clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they found a Cyrenian man named Simon. They forced this man to carry his cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means skull place. They gave him wine mixed with gall to drink. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. After crucifying him, they divided his clothes by casting lots. Then they sat down and were guarding him there. Above his head, they put up the charge against him in writing. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two criminals were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. Those who were passing by were yelling insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, The one who demolished the sanctuary and rebuilt it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. He's the King of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe him. He has put his trust in God. Let God rescue him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am God's son. Okay. Um, at that point, let's go from this side to this side, and all of you will walk off. Um, so no need to bow. Um, so we're going to go back to this side. Exit stage left. So well done, everyone. Sorry for the people that aren't here. Hopefully it's clear. Um, We're going to meet at 8 o'clock. Is that correct? That's correct. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have been given the updated script, but it's black T-shirt, black pants, no shoes. Just so that we've got a uniform look. And my aim is to have... Just clarify that again. Black T-shirt, black pants, no shoes. Okay, just for a uniform... Um, clear look and my aim is to have either a bib or something that actually has your character. Um, One of the frustrations I've got when I go to a play is I have no idea who's who, especially when it's Shakespeare. Um, So probably some form of like just paper that I'm actually going to have chief priest written on your shirt just so I know too hard to organise. Yep, so it'll just be nice and clear and like it's going to be, you know, uh, probably like, you know, white and black so nice and kind of like just stark. Um, we're setting the tone of sombre, so it's really important. Although there's a bit of joking going on, this is super serious. Um, the chief priests, you guys are men of stature, so you can speak, and same with Pilate. Um, yep, so you can speak and just go, like, it's haughty, not, yeah, and you're really like, you're men of, like, superpower. Um, and so make sure you hold yourselves in a confident position because you want to sort of display that, that pompousness to everybody. Yeah, that's and another thing that I was thinking. It's okay to allow a pause when the scene changes. So allowing that space for the scene to change is, uh, is okay. You know, if it's 10 seconds, that's okay. Yeah. Yep. You don't want to rush it. Be purposeful and allow a pause. Yep. Um, I'll try, if I can, to put like just some small markings on the floor so that you guys know. We already know where the soldiers and Barabbas will stand. Chief Priest, you roughly know where you'll be. Um, but I'll mark it on the floor so that you've got some guide. Yep. Um, was there anything else, Burning, that you've got questions about? No. No shoes, like socks? No, no, just no shoes. Just bare feet. Yep. So maybe come with, like, um, slides on the day or something easy to put on. So the three of us like your music. Totally fine. So, um... I was going to say we have our shoes and then take our shoes off. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. probably more so interesting when we just into the 8am practice. Because we'll also be practicing. Oh, no, um, it's not to practice at 8am. Um, so we might quickly run you guys through it. But, no, we won't be doing that again. 
Um, it's more just making sure that we're in the building. So I think last time when I did it with Tyson and Cameron and Mitch, we did have some logistical area, um, issues where people weren't on time. Um, so it's more just at that point, making sure that you know what you're doing like, and just talking it quickly through, making sure you've got the right um, props, making sure that you've got your place at the front and that's kind of it. We won't do a run through again. Um, so we're just going to make this available to everybody. Um, hopefully it's not too crazy. We'll have your stool um, so that you can just pick it up and walk easily. Any other questions? No. Yeah. Um,